Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. That seems to have a little bit of a, a head cold here yet, possibly. This is my buddy here, my boy, Carter Reed Exner. Everybody calls him Carter Reed. That's Reed's his middle name. Exner is actually his last name. So anyways, hike fishing is what we are up to right now. We've got this giant command center overkill here right now that has two aqua views in the Mega Live. Got cords going to two different holes here. And then we're trying the Mega Live and some landscape there to see what kind of happens out this way. But yeah, tip ups with something new for me, circle hooks. I'm gonna try circle hooks a little bit this year and see what I can accomplish with them. I'm not saying I'm gonna use them all the time yet. I just wanna see if I can maybe change the way I fish a little bit and better for the fish. So circle hooks ideas are supposed to hook them on the outside of the corner of the mouth, which I'll explain more in this video. I also have some new style tip ups I'm using today, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit too. And yeah, gotta get a couple more GoPros going here and get everything else kind of dialed in and we'll chat more as we go. But pike fishing is uh, the goal today, big pike. Like you don't even have to pull up, just reel. Really? Yeah. And then you just- The hook's oh. flag. The flag. Okay. That's you. Is that me? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, that's got... the one on the bottom. Yeah, that's one on the bottom. You want head. I only got the head camera going. I'll grab the main camera. Okay, well this is quick. It's peeling. We're trying circle hooks. This is quick. We just got everything set up. I have a new tip up going here. Finicky fooler. This is good. Like I said, circle hooks in the intro. We're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to take this off right now too. Just just because I walked your palm. That's cool. Okay, so I let it peel and now I'm waiting for it to run again before I do anything. Is this recording? Yeah, it's recording. Uh, it was. There, looks like it is again. So I'm just waiting again until he does a second. I'll loosen my drag a bit. He was peeling when I got here. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. If now, if, say if I catch a big fish, we'll, we'll switch over handles all to your side like that. But to start with, Carter and I kind of went two and two. He still has it. I'm just waiting for him to, to run with it again and I'll tighten up on him. Circle hooks, you're not setting it. He could, he could be even doubling back with it here too right now. He still has it. What I, what I don't want to happen is me be, have the fish facing right towards me and I pull it straight out of his mouth. Circle hooks that come out, hook around and turn. I'll do more demonstrations later, but. Okay, he's going away with it slowly, so I'm just gonna reel. I'm just gonna reel. No hook set at all, and it didn't work. Oh, no, it did. It did work, it did work. <laughs> I didn't think it worked, but it worked, it worked. He just came right towards it. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It obviously slipped out a little bit of his mouth, which I thought was it dropping out. Ooh. And there, it should be, oh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Carter and I got a live all drilled over there. So we'll pick it up, we'll land it, and the hook should be right in the corner of the mouth. We should be able to slide it out just perfect. I might pop it out here, I might pop it, pop it out in the live all either way, but turn that screen so I can see, Carter. It's a heavy fish. It's a heavy fish. Definitely got some weight. Okay, well, we are one for one with the hookups with the circle. Oh yeah, you? it's big. Is it big? Oh yeah. Yeah, big. It's nice. Let's see if I'm recording here. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that did not take long. You said you saw the flag pop even? Yeah. Nice, nice. We've got two flags with underwater cameras. We've got another one here that we're trying to do something with the Mega Live here a little bit. But we're uh, we're not, oh yeah, now it knows it's hooked. But I'm not sure, I'll have to look to see if the Mega Live picked up anything moving or not. I'm not sure. It looked close to 40. Nice. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a, that's big. That's a big fish. It had, had its head in its mouth, or its uh, mouth in the, the hole, hole for a second. I almost had that it up. Big. Yeah, it's big, Carter. Just gotta back it up a bit. Oh that's yeah, big. that's a toad. Oh, what a way to start the day. Oh, easy. It was so close. 
So close. It's back down again. Yeah, it went back down again. Now you know they're big when they can back out of the hole like that. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my goodness, Carter, it's so heavy too. Holy smokes. That is an absolute toad. Holy cow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, let's go to the live with and deal with it right there. Unreal. We got the hook out. It wasn't honestly hooked in the corner of their mouth. It was hooked deeper, but it wasn't to a point where it was like gut hooked and had to cut it off. Hand me that hook real quick, Carter. See, we still got, we got, managed to get it out. Just had to get down there and give a little twist and whatnot. But we're keeping it in the live well because it is a little bit colder outside. Colder, I say minus 10, that's not crazy. But this will keep its eyes from freezing, its gills from freezing, all that stuff. We're gonna get the bump board over here. We're gonna measure it, we're gonna show it off and we're gonna dump her back. It's a uh, big mama, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, that's old. Quick right here, board. Oh geez. 43 and a half huh. or 43 and a quarter now 43 no, and a half. half 43 and a half that's a toad to start with and it's fat unbelievable like big mama Carter get down here with me man you're part of this fish <laughs> just as much dude it's heavy hey like look at my hands shake okay that's enough let's get her back perfect she's in perfect health that's a toad dude that's a toad what a way to start off. First pike of the year? First pike of the, uh, not my first pike of the year. I did a pike video not too long ago. Tip up pike. Tip up pike. Hands are frozen, get everything warmed up. I don't even got my other GoPros going yet. We're slacking here, but we got the main camera and this and whatnot. And now I'm gonna let Carter change all the rods over to the right hand, so let's do it. Things are off to an awesome start right now. 43 and a half inch, which is my biggest oh, pike of the year so far. Pike. Oh, and the other came back. And I was just gonna say, we just had a pike come in here. And that could be the same one and almost eat the bait and then take off again. It's so much fun to watch with the underwater camera. You would never know without the underwater camera that that had just happened. So we know that we're definitely in a good area right now. I have a high, high hopes and expectations after what we've caught already and what I've seen right now. And he's coming right now. Come on, come on. Come on, eat it. That's a good fish. Eat it. Eat it. This is exciting. Eat it. Come on. Oh, come on. Put it in your mouth. Okay. I'm going to put this camera down and uh, hopefully this fish eats. This is awesome. Oh, flag. Flag? What the? Oh yeah, right there, right there. Just wait, give him a sec. He's just munching it, give him a sec. Okay, he's still munching it, he's still. Is it can't, tell, can't tell whether he's gonna keep it or drop it. No, he, he's, he's not happy, but he's definitely going. Okay. <laughs> Is it big? What? Big? I'm not gonna tell you, till after. 
pull a little bit of line out so I don't interfere with it here. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Just pull some line out, okay, and tighten. Or pull your drag, I'll get this, yeah. Now when he runs, when he goes, you're just gonna reel into him. You can probably tighten, yeah. And just reel, just reel, just reel, just reel, just reel, yeah. Just reel. Just keep reeling. Keep reeling. So yeah, it's a, it's a decent fish. Car has it gotten out? Still there, still there, still there, still there. Things are good. Things are good. Decent fish. Not I don't think giant, but I have a really, really good look at it. You said flag, and I just happened to look over. Oh, nice. You definitely don't want too tight of a drag at all. So I'll gr I'll grab them. So your hands stay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll grab them so your hands stay warm. And then we'll go to the live all with them and you can pick them up in there. So we are having a slower afternoon. We've had fish come by like crazy. Just not uh nothing really hook up you smaller, yeah. Okay, easy, easy. It's a good starter fish for Carter. But let's see if the circle hook did its job this time. I'm curious. Okay, we got the hooks out for that one. I'll keep Carter's hands from getting too cold. It's just like a 32 inch or something like that maybe 31 be a little bit too big to to keep to eat so again that one was not hooked in the corner of the mouth it was again hooked down in the gullet easy enough to get out with long pliers and a single hook and barbless you can get under their gills or under in their throat there and turn it out like to have minimal damage type of thing but Circle hooks, from what I understand, they're supposed to catch in the corner of the mouth. So that's too hooked where I don't want them to be hooked. So I'm just going to sit down here for a second in the snow in front of my sled. You guys hear me keep talking about circle hooks, circle hooks, circle hooks. What's a circle hook? This is a circle hook. See how it has that point right here on the end? Now the idea of the circle hook, these are super popular in salt water. They're super popular with any type of, usually bait fishing where fish swallow baits. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong yet, but right now I'm two for two with fish being hooked deeper. Were they easy to get out? Yes, they weren't that bad to get out at all, but they're, they're designed to be hooked in the corner of the mouth. So what happens is the fish swallows everything like this, right? Swallows it all. And then if you set the hook right away, you would just pull it out. What happens is as it comes out slowly, so what you're supposed to do is when the fish is running, you're just supposed to apply some tension or reel into them basically. You're not supposed to actually set the hook. As it comes out slowly, this here is supposed to hook into the corner of the mouth. And as it's being pulled like that around, that will have enough force and it'll bury that hook into that fish. And I know saltwater guys use them all the time. And I was really under the impression that this is what we should be using for pike fishing. I have some good friends that do it. And uh, a couple of them has definitely, now I wouldn't say, um, made me fish them like this but kind of like pushed me in this direction said at least give it a try and see what you can do i honestly believe if it works it is the way to go for sure but i'm still testing the whole theory i right now i still prefer the single treble myself i rarely have any fish that are hooked deep with the single treble and if they are it's just like this where it's super easy to get out i don't like the the double the triple trebles in that sense and i'll be for two reasons a you end up with hooks everywhere and lots of times too that hook so the hook will get caught on the bottom of the ice as you're bringing the fish out and plus into your hand and all that kind of fun stuff so i've always done the single treble myself and then i usually just kind of set the hook as soon as i get there i'll take my time getting there but i won't let him eat it for very long this one circle hook we're giving the fish more time to kind of make sure that it's in its mouth and as it's running away you know we're supposed to be setting it right in the corner of the mouth so i'll try a few different things maybe next time we'll go a little bit sooner in that sense it's really hard i don't know what the proper answer is for that at all i've heard guys that'll run a really short tip up line and then right as it hits the end of the tip up it literally kind of sets itself and that may, may be the way to do it so not really sure yet still learning but it's always fun to experiment with things right and figure things out hopefully we get a couple more to try it out yet today what a life. Well, day number two. That's right. We're not going to pretend like it's the same day. We struck out after that last fish. I don't think we saw another pike after that, did we? Never saw another pike on the camera at all. A couple walleye cruised through, but we've got the sled loaded again here for day two to head out. 
We brought the shack with us today though because it was a little bit chilly yesterday so we're going to set up our command center inside a nice little heated shelter. It's still going to only be like minus 10 today but a little bit of wind so we obviously are going to be protecting those fish at every moment possible with a live wall and whatnot and bring them in the shelter if we have to but day two, fire up the sled, let's do it. But we are officially all set up, four flags out, two underwater cameras going. I didn't bring the Mega Live with me today just because it was a little bit too much with everything we got going on. We do have the Otter Lodge with our command center, which I'll do some video of in the future here, in the near future. This wind, <laughs> right down my throat. So uh, time to go inside, stay warm, and uh, hopefully put some pike on the, the ice. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Oh, come on. We got a fish right here, checking us out. Love it, Carter's having snacks. Come on, buddy, do it, do it, do it. That's a nice fish. We got a flag, Carter. We got a flag, we got a flag, we got a flag, we gotta go, oh, sorry. Oh yeah, it's running. Is it? Yeah. Hey, oh, I'll grab the camera. Let's do it. Oh, it's still going, that's good, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, you can just tighten it and hit him. Tighten it and hit him. Nice. Got him, got him. Nice, 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 nice. Love it, love it. Well, we've had a very slow afternoon or morning or day period. We finally have a flag. It's like, what, three o'clock, I think? We've got, like I said, this awesome setup going on, which I'll do some video of shortly, but sitting in the shack, watching a movie, waiting for flags. This one took a lot of lines, so we don't know yet, size yet, just because it was gonna be a long ways away. So we'll see what happens here as it gets closer. This is, this is one of your new rods, hey? Yep. Carter's got his second fish on one of his new rods. He ordered some Mr. Big Twilight series from Frostbite. Got the pliers with me. We'll unhook the fish quick. There's Take weight, it to the but it's just dead weight. Well, it's just because it, it took so much, such a big run, hey? Like, huge run. Huge run. This is uh, the same hole where I caught the 43 and a half yesterday, so. Hopefully it's uh there's weight. That's good. That's good. <laughs> good thing you tied a good backing knot, hey Carter? You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh boy. Yeah, don't have it too tight. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah. This is oh, oh he's rolling, he's rolling, he's rolling, he's rolling. Keep reeling, yeah. He's doing a roll. When you do that when the rod bounces like that, oh. they'll roll and they'll wrap. This feels good, Clayton. Okay, buddy. There's so much weight. Good. 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 I haven't seen him yet, so oh. Blinds jump in. It's yeah, it's nice. close. Oh, that's big head shakes, hey? That's big, vicious head shakes. Unbelievable. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that's huge. Is it? Oh, yeah. You saw it or what? I don't think it's here yet. Yeah, it's at the hole. Okay. 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 Let's go slow. Yeah. Keep going a little bit. Keep going a little bit. He's wrapped right now. I'm just going to try to unwrap him a bit. Just going to try to back him. Come on. Come on, baby. I can't get him to turn. It looks like a big fish. Big fish. Come on, buddy. Where are you? I can't see him. I don't have my Polaris glasses. Just trying to just trying to work him slowly. He's wrapped. Funny here. I'm keeping tension on my. Yeah, you keep tension. I'm just gonna keep working him backwards slowly here. Nice single hook so we can't get caught on the ice. It's all about just working them over slowly. Oh, oh, oh. that's a big fish. Oh, he might freak. See, he was wrapped still. He might freak. Okay, no, we're good yet. You just keep it tight. You might have to reel a bit. 
Might freak, yeah. Okay, let him go again. He was wrapped up, so the fish is wrapped and we have to get him over towards the hole. That's a big head, big head. Come on, buddy. They wrap like Fishes, that. Are we gonna take him straight? We're gonna go to, straight to the live well here with him. Keep reeling, make sure it stays tight, yeah. I'm, I'm slowly unwrapping them right now is what I'm doing. It's a big fish, Carter. Oh, he's so close. Oh, it's a tank. Oh my goodness, Carter. It's an absolute giant. I'm gonna take out the hook in the hole first. This thing is really big. Okay, you go uh, You go kick the live all open, take these pliers. Oh my goodness. Here. Oh, grab the camera too. So we've got her in the live all. She's chilling nice and safe. Get the bump board up there. Car's gonna pull it off, show it to the main camera there, measure it, and back down as quick as we can. Live all like this right here will keep their eyes and their mouth. Show it off first. Yeah, show them off right here. Show them off there, Carter. That is a tank. Oh my goodness. It's heavy, hey? Like that's a 25 pound pike, Carter. Giant. <laughs> Giant. Get it hold on its top of its gill there, yeah. 44 and a half. 44 and a half. Send her home. Good guess by Clayton, hey? Good guess by Clayton. That's a new PB for Carter right here. That is a tank. How's your hands, cold? You've seen a couple of these. I've seen before. a couple of them. I told Carter it was gonna be 44 and a half. Hey, new PB, unbelievable. I'm the worst, I realized I wasn't recording on the head camera when we released it. Thankfully I have this camera and this camera showing it off. It's not the end of the world. It's like, I missed out on a 15 second clip, but unbelievable. You wanna grab it? Car's gonna go grab that rod. We're gonna get it going again. I'm gonna talk about the, bring the finicky fooler with you too. I'm gonna to talk about the finicky fooler as well. And the desk, bring the desk. And yeah, unbelievable. Our first fish of the day. And like I said, it's like three o'clock. We've been fishing for five and a half hours, I think already. First flag's a 44 and a half inch brute. Unbelievable. So one thing before I talk about the finicky fooler, I actually did switch back to just an one ordinary plain two aught treble hook for today. The circle hooks we were using, we were gullet hooking them yesterday. And I talked to a really good buddy who fishes circle hooks and he told me don't have an offset. So I need to get more circle hooks that don't have the offset. No offset is key, or he says you're gonna gullet hook them. And yeah, did it twice yesterday. It was no problem getting them out, just underneath their gill I could, it's something I've been doing for years in terms of guiding, like getting hooks out easily. It was easy to get out, but no offset is the key, he said, for that. So I am going to attempt this here later in the season yet. But for now, I had just went to a two-aught treble there, and that was on like a five-inch Cisco. Nothing really, really, really big. And that one was actually laying flat on the bottom. Unfortunately, that's one of the ones that is off the camera. We got two baits on the camera, and we have two baits off the camera. So a new tip up I've been using this year called Finicky Fooler. Something super, super simple, but you can still use with a rod and a reel. It's very basic. Your rod goes in the rod holder, which by the way, this comes out and it packs really, really nice too as well. Same with the flag takes out. You can slide it down there all the way in here and everything packs are really, really nice. But anyway, all you do with this, super simple. With the rod, take the rod, put it in, the hole right here in the rod holder and then you take your line and you put it under this clip this little clip here and then this flag goes down to this clip and what happens when that fish lifts that line then right here he puts some pressure on it he lifts bang hardly anything to it i was told about these things lots last year on my videos on using the ifish pros they make a great product too don't get me wrong i just wanted to try something a little bit different and people said these are so simple to use, they're really convenient to pack around. And I really like now too, is Finicky also, Finicky Fleur sells these little foam plates here. These are a 10 inch disc. I'm gonna talk to them, I like to see a little bit bigger disc. They do fit in this 10 inch hole nice and it kind of seals it up. But you can also do this too, put it as a base there, pack snow around it, and then take your foam top and put it over the top there too. So it's been not crazy cold, minus 10. Not enough where I'd want to only be fishing inside. It's You could be fishing outside. We just put the shelter up so we can have a little bit of a home base, stay warmer type of thing. But you don't want to have the fish out too long in that temperature. Where I'm getting at it is it's still cold enough your holes will freeze. If it wasn't for these foam mats on there, we have uh, gone around twice now 
and only once out of the, the two rounds on one of the holes that were had a skim of ice and I must not have had a good seal on it. But finicky fooler, I'll throw some links below where you can get them. Right now I think they're just in the States, but I am talking with them and hopefully we can get them available in Canada, possibly even up at like Pokey's Tackle Shop or something next year or something like that. But been very, very happy with them so far. A little bit of test that I've had. The trigger mechanism seems to be great. We haven't had any false flags in terms of like the wind knocking them over and yeah, love it. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. That's the same fish. Come on, do it. I want to see how big this fish is. Come on. Yes. No, no, no. no. And the bait's on the... That's okay. That might, that might be okay though. You ripped the bait off. The bait's off? No. Had to have. No. You might have... Did he flip the flag? Oh, he flipped the flag. Okay, then just give it a minute then. That's okay. That's okay. So this fish flipped our flag, but the bait's still down low. Come on. He literally pulled the flag out. This is good. This is good. Come on. This is good. I like this. Come on. Come on. Look at him. Just look at it. He's smelling it. Oh, yes. Give him a second. He's munching. This is good, Carter. He's got it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is so good. The thing's huge. Please. It's big. It's big. Go slow. Go slow. He's going, though. He's going. Okay, go grab the rock. Go grab the rock. Go grab the rock. Still going? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Just, just basically tighten it and hit him. Yeah, tighten it and hit him. No. He's still there. Yeah, he was just coming back at it. I don't have the main camera, that's okay. That's okay, we're just gonna go head camera. With my recording? Yeah. Okay, good, we're recording. We're gonna go. I didn't grab the main camera. So we saw this fish flip the flag and then we were waiting for it to pick it up. <sighs> that was awesome. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. I have a few, I don't, I like, I want to see how big it is after seeing on the camera, right? This will give us a little bit of a judgment to see whether it's like big, big or what. Yeah. He's just, he's, he's going to do his things here yet. I see he's, he's wrapped up again. Like that last fish was. Okay. Here he comes. Almost. Nope. He's going to go back down. Yeah. Is your drag loose? Loose not drag off lots. We don't, we don't need too tight of a drag for this at all. Okay. I'm just going to back him up slowly. Just keep that tension on. Here he comes. That's a big fish. Looks just as big. Barley, barely hooked here. Barely hooked. Okay, Carter's gonna pull him out. Quick measure. Show him off good. Yeah, buddy, that's a big fish. That's big. 41's my guess. Not quite as big as the other one, but fat though, hey? Unreal. 41 and a half? Quarter. 41 and a quarter. Back home. Super quick with this girl. Super quick. Unbelievable. That was so cool to watch that fish come back <laughs> and eat. Hands cold? Oh, good. Awesome. This is our amazing setup we got going on here right now. Just because we were outside there for a bit, we do have the heater on high right now. Both warming up our hands. Dual aqua views right now. They're both about 60 feet out. Can't really see them on this, but obviously you can see them in the video. Going off of Dakota Lithiums there. This is running both the Avermedias and then these are running the um, Aquaviews, the 18 amp hours are running the Aquaviews. We have a movie going there. We we're watching, I think the greater. We're playing around on the Hummingbird there a little bit. We've got one GoPro going for inside the shack and then just a bunch, little extra stuff, you know. We've made it nice and cozy for us. We noticed with yesterday it was just a little bit cooler outside and we didn't even eat yesterday because you're outside all day and it was just like, it was cold. Your hands were cold. You didn't want to make a sandwich or anything, but today we warmed up some chili on the big buddy heater and it was pretty awesome. So two pike today. That's it. 41 and what was that? 41 and a half? Quarter. 41 and a quarter. 
and a 44 and a half. It's been pretty uh, a good couple days. Four pike, three of them over 41 inches. I'll take that any day. Wait. Serious? Yeah. Come on. Are you kidding me? That hole's been good. Just starting to pack up cameras because we can't see anymore. And Carter's like, flag. You can, you can hit them whenever you want. This hole's been good. This hole's been really good. Got him. Still got him? Yeah. Nice. Are you finally gonna catch a small one today or what? Hope you don't break wreck our average, Carter. Oh, 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 oh. I don't Man. know if it's a small one. I know. We'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. Oh, it's already there, hey? It's okay. I'm just getting the camera a little bit closer. I didn't bring my pliers with me. Good donkey. Another nice fish. Another nice fish? I think so. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's another big fish. That's another big fish. Unbelievable, Carter. You're on a roll today. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's another big fish. Watch your body. Unbelievable. Big fish, Carter. Unbelievable. Oh. Careful. Okay. Okay, Carter, pop the hook out. We're not even measure him. Let him go. It's no. like a 42 incher, you know, hey? <laughs> You're okay? Yeah. Carter is, is a champ. Like a 42 inch fish. Um, at least that is a tank, Carter. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm saying 42. Just let him go. Yeah, that's. Ah, yeah. uh, I've been. What my first guess was bang on, and my second guess was quarter inch. Off. Quarter inch off. So uh, if I say 42, it's probably 42, or it's close. Unbelievable. Come on, come on. There she goes. Waves goodbye. No need to measure. No, it. no need to measure. No need to put reason to put that one back out because we're no. we're literally packing up right now. I just pulled up one of the cameras. We're starting to lose our light. That's our third fish over 40 inches, say over 41 inches. What a day! Well, with that fish, that'll wrap up our pretty amazing day, I'd say. Not Car bad. <laughs> Not bad. He's, it's, he's just trying to be humble and <laughs> modest. It was an awesome day. It was tough in terms of numbers of fish. We had three fish that we caught. 41 and a quarter, 42 and a 44 and a half, which is Carter's new PB Pike. We're happy to be a part of it. Hopefully the video turned out good. It's always hard to tell over a two day video, two day video, or two days, two days, I should say, how the video is gonna turn out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Still lots of winter to come. And as always, don't forget, get outside. <laughs>